Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kyle here with another Guardian Tools video. And in today's video, I want to talk about a few tips to help you out in Camazon Zone. And why I want to talk about this is I feel like there's a few key differences, even though these game types are very similar in Coliseum and in Camazon Zone. But there's a lot of differences in how you want to play these two styles of content. And then hopefully this will be helpful for you. So these are three tips that to look for because there's going to be a few unique issues in Kim's Zone that you want to look out for. Hopefully this helps. So before we get into this video, if you can get a like on this video, that'd be awesome. Also subscribe to the channel for more Guardian Tools content. And, and lastly, we have an active Discord server to join. So link down in the description below. So with that out of the way, let's get back into the tips here. So I just want three simple tips that I think will help when it comes to Amazon zone. So the first thing is the type of damage matters. And that's not something that you normally have to worry about when it comes to Colosseum, but a worry that will, you'll start to run into is going to be timing out. And it's this balancing act between enough survivability and enough damage. But not only is it enough damage, but it's a, the right type of damage. Because sometimes you'll find that you're doing a whole bunch of zeros because they have a certain effect that the boss character will completely remove all melee damage or will remove all range damage. So you really want to have a balance there. And for me, I like to wait if I'm picking up artifacts here in Amazon Zone, then I like to wait them for melee because melee characters on average do significantly less damage. So being able to make sure you have that boost here in Amazon Zone when it comes to your artifacts, I really liked either Rapture Breaker here or the thing that gives 100% melee damage, or I wish I can show it currency here, you could get your benefits, you can add benefits to your run, and those are going to, you could choose melee damage. I think that's one that would be a good thing to prioritize if you're struggling. Like, let's say you only have Future Princess and Agma on your team. You're really not bringing a lot of melee damage, and a lot of runs can end because you can't damage through this tank character that is resistant to range, and you're having to rely on your melee character's damage. Um, And then another character, too, like in Beth even, her skill is ranged so it's like even though she's a melee character her skill is ranged um so it's just something to keep in mind uh so types of damage matters it's a really big deal so keep in mind of that this is kind of on the same vein as the damage thing but cards you're going to want to use are massively different in this than in Coliseum. okay let's go to the heroes here so the first thing that i think the main difference is going to be these right here and it's going to be on kill you really want to make sure you're using a whole bunch of eight percent attack on enemy kill because you're getting not only multiple enemies but not only are they going to be a lot of them going to be significant weaker and then there's going to be a couple main ones that are significantly stronger than you would face in Coliseum. So you're getting best of both worlds where you're able to kill a whole bunch of weak people. You have the 8% attack on kill and then you're able to do a ton of damage to these bosses. And then another thing to keep in mind too is I just really want to highlight these too. Also, if you're taking injury damage, that's something just to keep in mind. This is just a general tip. If you, you face these little holes that do this pulsing damage and apply a debuff, injury damage negation is a really big deal. Uh, I can kind of give you an idea of what it looks like here. Um, I'm facing it on orbital lift here. This will just be a little quick little run through. I don't really have a comp for it, but this thing right here, I just want to show it to you. This is something to really keep in mind. This does injury damage. I think a lot of people think this does does doom damage but it's injury so this thing right here i don't really know how to describe it but just make sure um if you're facing one of these and you're struggling and it's doing a ton of damage be sure to um i have that card on there especially on a healer or on someone that's keeping your team up to prevent that damage from going off then another thing too now that we got cards out of the way we got damage we got cards next thing is going to be certain characters that are not really meta in coliseum are going to be absolutely incredible when it comes to these style game modes and the two ones that i really want to highlight here are going to be first of all beth i think beth is absolutely incredible in this because not only is she one of the best melee characters she's good typing in dark which is the complete opposite of light here so future princess is absolutely got tier in this she's got tier in everything when it comes to these style of content because of her weapon skill but a key character here is because we already talked about how issue with damage and melee is a problem. But what's cool about Beth is she brings a ton of damage and she has this really cool passive here where it's battle instinct. Depending on the number of enemies within three tiles, attack increases by 15% up to 60% and negates incoming damage by 15% up to 60%. So she's technically like a warrior style character, but she's way tankier than how those characters actually normally are. Like if you brought in a Lin or if you brought in Vishuvac or Eugene, like this character is massively tankier. Then if we look at, if you have her EX weapon here, she's going to be doing this resistance, which is amazing. I really like characters that have this. And then also is generating a shield of inflicted damage upon enemies. So then she's gaining more damage because of more characters. She's gaining, getting tanker because of the more characters. And because she's doing more damage, she's getting a bigger shield. 
Lastly, she has the 50% melee boost, so this will be boosting up your future princess's damage too, or whatever your main frontline character is damage. Most likely that's a melee style character. So she solves a lot of those issues if you're running into those um, of not being able to do enough damage. So that's why I really like Beth here. Then the next character that I think is absolutely god tier for this is going to be Maya, because a lot of this content is survivability is super tough because they do so much damage. That's why I really, it, this deserves its own video when it comes to itemization and getting artifacts, but damage reduction is massive because they do so much damage flat that you want really good healers. And Maya's really the only healer that can even come close to being good enough when it comes to these things and be able to just do raw enough raw healing to actually be able to survive the amount of damage you get at higher end Camazon zone or higher in orbital lift if you want to apply this advice to that. So this is why I think this character you don't really see her much in Colosseum too much, but I think she's absolutely amazing when it comes to Camazon zone and orbital lift. And so then for the last tip here, I think it's really important because you're going to be facing a lot of boss style characters that are really tanky and a lot of them are going to be characters that you can pull. Like for example, make if you're struggling with a character, make sure to read their passive and how they actually work if you're facing this buffed up version of a character in Camazon Amazon zone or even uh, orbital lift. So for example, this character, just make sure you're reading special ability here. So like seeing if there's any issue here where it increases shield on battle when hit by enemies creates 1% shield with a 10% chance. I think another a, a good example of something to really look out for would be like, let's say, so here's something that you want to keep in mind here, which is for each hit on enemy afflicted with attack decrease effect restores HP by 10% of damage given. So if you're facing a Yuse with one of these buffs where she's really strong and she's healing a ton, like that's something to keep in mind. And like, for example, her, uh, this potentially is another one where it's a winner health is lower than 50% damage taken is reduced by 30%. And then here's another example where it's, if you're bringing in Beth, for example, you're trying to beat this, uh, this person, or you bring in like Ogma or something like that and doing too much damage when you hit by enemies with dark type attacks, attack increases by 50% for five seconds. So this just keep in mind that these exist. You know, if you're facing characters like this and then they uh, you're struggling be sure to check out their uh, their special passives here because it potentially could be a really big issue so i uh, just wanted to throw that out there because i think that's something really to keep in mind that potentially is e potentially very easily overlooked and could be a big deal like for example she is a playstyle character obviously you're not really going to want to take dark characters against her but you know you might think you can get away with it but that passive really sets it over the edge and you could just take in another style character another type of character and then won't have an issue or you can you can actually see why certain characters are just t uh, able to tank way more than they ever should have that you would normally think and it's because of a passive kicking in after a certain percentage uh that's going to end it when it comes to the tips for these these are just gonna be a couple quick tips when it comes to camazon zone or orbital lift uh let me know in the comments below if there's any other tips you guys have personally you guys want to share also if you have any questions let me know in the comments below again be sure to join the discord if you're looking for an active discord for guardian tales and with that guys i am out peace